Hello and welcome back to the channel and now you are joining me for this week's Forza Thon guide called The Cozy which wants you to own and drive the 1992 Ford Escort RS Cosworth so without any further ado let's get stuck in and take a look at the car in question. So this is the car in question, it will set you back 66,000 credits from the auto show or you can pick it up in the auction house as well, there's a, an abundance of them in there if you want. Now I've created a tune for you guys to use, it's called Forzathon, the share code is 626-238-294 and that's available for everyone to use should you wish. Now the first challenge here wants you to win three dirt trail events, so not the circuits but the trails, so this is actually quite an easy one to be fair. So I've created a custom blueprint race at the Cascada Trail. So I've created this one with no AI driver tiles or anything like that, so it's quite easy to clear. Share code is 173541209 and it's called the Forzathon Dirt Trail, uh, just to make it a little bit easier for you guys. Now like I said, this one is quite easy because there's no AI driver tiles. It also helps to have the car tuned so you can clear the race a lot quicker. So I think each time I completed this, it took about two and a half minutes. So that's not too bad to be honest. Uh, obviously once you've completed this first one, all you want to do is do it again two more times and then that's the first challenge complete. And of course you win every time because there's no AI driver tiles to compete against, which is brilliant. So that is the first challenge there complete. Now the next one wants you to earn a total of 100,000 skill points, which again is actually fairly easy. Uh, the first thing that I would recommend doing is going into the car mastery and buying out the exact same perks as what I'm purchasing here. Now obviously there are a few I've missed out and you don't have to buy the credits or the wheel spin uh, boost either. But the ones that I recommend picking are shown here. The remainder of them you don't have to do because they're only related to anything that's to do with the race. So extra skill points at the end of a race, etc. Extra credits. And then I recommend heading over to the Horizon Airstrip at the main festival. The reason for this is there is plenty of stuff to do here in order to get skill points. There's things to smash into. Uh, there's a massive array of skills you can get here. So you don't have to get all of the skills in one go. You can get them over the course of a few days to a total to 100,000 if you want. But what I did was got up to 25,000 and then it was multiplied by 4 and there's your 100,000. Or you can get 20,000 times by 5 but it's a bit trickier to do that way. But anyway, it only took me less than five minutes, so really easy challenge there. Now the final one wants you to earn nine stars in total from Danger Signs, which again is super, super easy. So what I'm doing here is filtering my map just to show Danger Signs. I then head over to the hotel one, which three stars on here is only 450 feet, so it's a very low score. Now what I recommend doing is A, having a tuned Escort Cosworth, and B, starting off at the hill you just saw there to get a nice long run up to smash the 450 feet three star target. Like I said, it is really easy to do and it doesn't take that long. If you get three stars on every run, all you need to do is three runs and there is your nine stars. But it doesn't matter if you don't get three stars on every run. If you get two on a couple, it is what it is. It keeps track of the score anyway. So a nice, easy final challenge there. Uh, but lastly, I want to say thank you. I hope this video did help you out. If it did, I would very much appreciate it if you could drop a like and don't forget to subscribe as well. But apart from that, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and have a happy new year.